Welcome back, everybody. Uh, probably to no one's surprise, um, Super Mario Sunshine is also going to be a game that I'm going to be completing for Metro Mania. Um, if you know me at all, this is one of my favorite games of all time. Honestly, before I get started on any of that stuff, um, it's been like six months since I've played. <laughs> so, uh, let me double check what I was even doing. Okay, so Bianco's all done except for Hundo's. Rico's almost all done, but I need Yoshi. So I can really go to Gelato or Pinna. Let's go to Pinna. This is what we like to call gamer move. Um, so, this level. You shoot these little green turtle guys, right? They got Yoshi eggs and shit. And uh, what they do is they jump up. And they schmoosh. And, you know, you can kill one at a time, but then you think, wow, watch this. You gotta watch that whole ass cut scene, blah, 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 the little sunflower says, yo, suck a big, big dick, or, you know, whatever he says, I don't, I don't really know. But, you go for a little gamer skip, right? You can wake up a couple at the same time. Now watch this, drive. Okay, no, not yet. Okay, yeah, 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 that's fine, that's fine. See, they, they don't hit the ground, right? You need them in the sand. So you get them right here. You know, let's go for a two-piece. Okay. I did get a two-piece, okay. But look at this. You know, just one cutscene instead of having to have two individual cutscenes. So, you know, you could see the potential about how that's a gamer skip, you know, but obviously I'm not a gamer, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, so those flowers are gay as fuck, I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, this level is just so sick, dude. Like, it has so many iconic, you know, levels. Like, you got big ol' big ol' man ray fight. This is a classic. You ask people about Super Mario Sunshine, they almost always talk about this one. You know what I mean? Like, this is just fucking... Just a certified hood classic, to be honest. So every time you uh, hit him, he splits up. And then eventually he'll stop splitting when, uh, when it's all down to little ones. And that's kind of what you want to aim for, because the little ones actually come towards you. And pay no attention to these guys fucking me in the ass right now. Uh, this is pretty normal. Not guys fucking me in the ass, like this, you know, like... <laughs> just, uh... Never mind. Now with our newfound uh, turbo rocket nozzle. Sorry, I had, hmm, that's crazy that I fucked that up. That's crazy that I'm still down, that I'm also down here now. But uh, yeah, there's also more uh, overworld stars we can get with this new nozzle. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Hopefully I'm not... Wasting water here. There we go. Do you not jump the first time? Or do you not go as high if you don't have enough water to do it all the way? Is the game that complex? So this is one of my favorite levels in the game. Um, it's just so, like, dumb. So dumb and easy, to be honest. Like, it's just fun. You just you just hold down the nitro or the turbo nozzle, and you just platform. It's uh, 
I think I missed that. Oh my god. Yeah, it's just... Just a dumbass level. But I love it. I love it. Cause like I said, bro, it's been six months since I've played this shit. <laughs> Uh, there might be some that I am getting mixed up on whether I have them or not. My brain. <laughs> I fucking remembered. <laughs> There's something stupid. I just hadn't sprayed all the right trees yet. So uh, yeah, go ahead and throw that one on the. Go ahead and throw that one on the counter for me too. Of uh, fucking stupid ass retarded ass blue coins. Uh, but. That is Bianco Hills. Completely done. Um, so I need to ground pound this little pump back and forth. Until I get a durian, which is the first fruit that I get, actually, which is kind of kind of poggers, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, babe. Uh, so as you can see here, there was some blue butterflies there. And uh, if you saw last time, when you eat all the blue butterflies, you get a fucking you get a fucking thing mate you get a fucking you come over here uh maybe this can't be done with yoshi goop but you spray these blue fish and uh yeah you get a blue coin um so that one's pretty dumb pretty dumb okay so there's the x marks the spot that's two more blue coins um i think for right now let's just get uh yoshi this star done Once you stand on this, if you have purple Yoshi, uh, your platforms will move forward to backward. And then... You need to come over here. And actually, you want to eat these coconuts to turn into a different color Yoshi. Because when you turn into this different colored Yoshi, when you stand in on the platforms, they go up and down instead. Which is a uh, very interestante. Um, so I think you can hit the goop from here, which does make this level a little bit easier. Um, as you can see, there is a blue on this side that I need to go for as well. That's Get this blue there's also another one over next to those other trees but i will get that one after see there's another m over there it's crazy that you bring yoshi what the fuck dude i was about to say it's crazy crazy you bring yoshi all the way through on this level and you don't even get to grab the star with them because there's like a different animation for grabbing a star with Yoshi. I've never seen that before. I just clipped through the fucking cage. That's crazy. I've never seen that before. What the fuck? That's insane. That's actually sick. Okay. Is this the one that like... Throws the fucking nozzle hella far away for some reason. Watch this. If this is what I'm... Yeah, look at this shit. It fucking sends the nozzle all the way over here for some reason. I don't know why that is. I wonder if that was on purpose or on accident. And although I could, like, swim around in the water and play it safe, you know, so I don't die. I'm just gonna trust my gamer intellect here to be able to get all the coins that i need and then get off of the blooper as well which can be a little bit difficult to get off of the blooper to get the 100 coin star but i am going to go for it even though i have all these coins Damn, I missed quite a few though, huh?
Okay, so now I have to jump off of that umbrella. Where am I? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Where am I looking? Oh, I have to jump off of that umbrella. Um, next to where I jumped on these motherfuckers. Uh, I really only get one shot at this, so. That wasn't even in my possibilities of uh, how I would fuck that up. Well, fate, here I am once again to test you. Please don't run into the wall immediately. Please don't run into the wall immediately. Please don't run into the wall immediately. I don't know where my angle is. That could have been worse. I could have not gotten a second chance. Man, don't you love when you have 120 stars to do, but, like, you're so fucking retarded that you'd rather spend 20 minutes doing one just to fucking prove a point to yourself? And no one that is watching cares that you jumped off the blooper like that. Like, literally no one. But it, w it was only for you, and you just wasted 20 minutes of your own life because it'll just be edited out for them. You ever, you ever, you, ever, you love, you guys love doing that, right? You guys like, it's, you guys like, uh, you guys can relate to that, right? Like, I just feel like I got this one, man. There's no way I didn't, right? Like, this one's so ingrained in my brain. It would actually be crazy if I forgot it. Wow, man. Yeah, like, like, that's not even like, you know, people cry about blue coins. Like, yes, obviously that one's in a really stupid spot. Like, how is anyone going to think of that on their own? But that's just one of the ones that I remember. You know what I mean? So it's like, I sh I should have had that one by then. Fuck, man. So I just spent like, dude, I just spent like an hour on Rico Harbor when I only needed like 10 blue coins and, and the 100 coin star because I took three tries to do the 100 coin star. Just so I could finish with the uh, with the blooper instead of getting the blooper coins first, and then I run around like a dickhead looking for that last blue coin or the last two blue coins for fucking twenty minutes, even though one of them I uh, knew exactly where it was. I just had forgotten about it. The other one I it took a while for me to remember, but I really want to go back and see the first time I played and see if I didn't get that or like if I even at least mentioned it like oh I'll go get that later I don't know but uh that's that's uh that is Rico Harbor all done that's two fully completed levels not bad quite yet I just think it's fucked up you don't answer fans dude
I'm just I feel like I had that there, no? Am I am I smoking crack? Am I smoking reefer? Am I doing something wrong? By fuck you, I mean all those doubters that thought it would take me 18 minutes because it only took me 9. Fuck you, pussy ass haters. Fuck you, haters. Don't fall the way off, please. It's so fuck, that's so fuck. Getting up this tree is actually the hardest part of the game. Yeah, yeah, you just have to spray the sun. Makes perfect sense if you don't think about it. I mean, they try to give you a little hint with the, I guess, with the little platform you're standing on, but it's just one of those things that if you know, you know from, you know. All right, let's get hundreds. Wait, 100 is actually so easy, what the fuck? On this level. Dude, that back fucking, uh, b b b b b b b b beehive had like fucking 40 coins on it. No way, I actually didn't get the one up here? Damn, that's crazy. I got the one in the sign, but not the one up here. I remember this one like super easily too. That's wild. All right, I'm gonna say that should be all dirty for you. Yippee! Another one in the basket. As you can see, huh? That is three worlds down. And four to go. Pinnis Park is almost done. I haven't really touched anything else. But honestly, getting the Shine Sprites is pretty easy. It's the uh, the blues and stuff like that that'll take a little bit. The actual um, Shine Sprites themselves should start filling up pretty quickly. Just do cheeky a spin jump. I don't even think you have to go that wide, but just to do a cheeky little spin jump. And, uh, yeah. That is it. So this is going to slow down the ferris wheel and then you actually jump on top of one of the little hands.
All right, so now uh, you have to practice your sick aim labs and, and pop all the little B Junes balloons. You only get a certain amount of rockets, and uh, so you really don't want to be whiffing those ones. Two B T B two B H triple. Oh baby, a triple classic. Little two piece Chicky McNug. Mm, I'm not sure where I want to be looking here, to be honest. No, no, no good. That's a whiff. And I got the one in the back. So I have at least half. Uh, you want to have them be at least half because you have to get them before you finish the lap twice. Okay, I got those two. That's pretty crucial. Sniped. Those ones are kind of a pain in the ass to get, actually. Oh wait, you get three tries? I was so sad, dude. I was so sad. Oh, that fucking went through his shit, though. I thought I failed, dude. How do you ever fail this as a kid, then? I'm saying that, and I'm not going to hit this last one. Okay. <laughs> I thought you only got two tries, dude. I was so sad. I apologize, now that I went to go get water, I'm gonna be drinking water in like every single fucking clip. Because I drink a lot of water. <sighs> nice. Don't worry guys, I got it. After I 100% penis, I'm gonna brush my teethies. That might be the end of the recording session for me, I'm not sure. Um, but I think it might also just be random. But I mean, like, look at the coins. It is pretty free, my, my dears. But I do need a banana for this Yoshi. So. Oh, I heard something spawn. Oh, that is not a banana. That is also not a banana. That is also not a banana.
still not a banana. Just need to find a banana. Hey, there we go. Give Yoshi the banana, and there is one blue butterfly out here. And that should be Penis Park done and dusted. I'm missing one. That is not good. Oh, there's two blue butterflies out here. Hee hee hee. Tee hee. I don't know why. I don't know why I tee heed. I'm sorry. I apologize. That, that was pretty fucking stupid even for me. fucking jumped off. He's a big dumb idiot. Hopefully they all kind of stay over that side a little bit. There we go. I thought I was supposed to do the first time. And the last one, the easy one. Just the one little homie. Alright, so fun fact, as you can see here, like, uh, when you, when you grab a blue in this game, a blue coin that is, <coughs> a text box pops up, right? That's crazy that that was there for this demonstration purposes, that's awesome, or for, uh, to help me demonstrate this, um, but, one of, there's only a few spots in this game, one of them, is this one where you can actually grab I did that wrong so you're supposed to grab the shine while the blue coin falls on your head and it actually skips the text box and it like saves a couple seconds for speedrunning purposes but uh I'm kind of an idiot so I didn't remember how it worked so I grabbed the fucking thing first and uh yeah i'm stupid sorry you slide right into the little trampoline all right so this level is iconically kind of annoying with some of the controls on it um so i kind of just try to get the red coins as fast as possible and the blue coins can kind of be a pain in the ass as well. Um, not in the sense of uh, they're hard, just in the sense of missing one is really fucking annoying. Okay, a little stressful. So he's probably going to start turning right about now. And you can just kind of chill on the blue coin platform, actually. Or you could glitch out and, uh... <gasps> Jesus Christ, mate. I want to say it's just the four blues, but four is like such a random number to have. But I think it's just the four. Ah. 
I want to say it's just the four, to be honest. But four is such a weird number. I think it's just the four men. Yeah, fuck it. We'll find out eventually. It should be just four. <clears throat> All right, so we have that left. I think there's going to be one more blue coin that I'm forgetting out about in the ocean. Alright, as you can see, the last three blue coins I was missing were just some ones spread across the beach like they were back in, uh, back in Pinna Park. And... That's it for old Gelato. 30... 30 blues? Eight, um, the two secrets and the 100, so... Let's head over to Noki now. Yeah, so this has list level has bad controls, so that way uh, you learn how to use the bad controls um, to clean the eel's mouth. So if you don't understand what the fuck I'm saying, then through the power of editing, we are now cleaning the eel's mouth. Well, I have to wait to fall down, so I guess I have to find something to talk about. Was that like kind of gay? Like I kind of did it off, like you know, just like I was just messing around, did it off the top of my head. But was it kind of kind of gay? <laughs> like it felt a little gay when I snapped the first time, and then I was like, well, I kind of have to commit to it now. Uh, anyways, uh, leave the comments uh, if you if you make it this far into the video and say uh, I was there, and then uh, go ahead and give me a if it was gay or not, and we'll take a poll down in the comments to see if it was gay or not. Just to clarify, if you're a first time viewer, nothing wrong with being gay. You know. But, uh, you know, I just want to be self aware if I am or not. I swear to God. Remember to take proper care of your teeth. Thank you, Flood. Oh, he leaves a heart. How cute, the men. All right. Well, now that, that annoying shit's over, we only have to use those controls one more time. One more time. Alright, so after grabbing a bunch of blue coins randomly around the map, and some normal yellow coins, I'm like 99% sure that this is enough coins to be going down underneath with, especially with these. Well, I mean, these included, right? So...
That's like 10 coins that I didn't just grab. Because I just accidentally swam into the loading zone. Part of me doesn't even want to... I don't know if I'm going to have enough coins, man. Alright. There we go. So I am going to need to come back down here for the redfish anyways. So it's not the end of the world that I missed that blue coin. But, you know, still kind of annoying. As you can see, rising with these things is not fun at all. And seeing as you basically have to come down here to get the 100 coin, I think you actually have to come down here to get the 100 coin. I could be crazy, but I can't think of any other way to get 100 coins, like, not coming down here. You basically have to use this fucking mechanic for four goddamn stars, so... That is another reason why this is the most popular level. But like, realistically, like the blue co the blue coins being like crazy and like the level's sick, honestly. Like it's it's a pretty sick level. It's just it's kind of annoying. Like a lot of shit in it is annoying, but it's still a pretty sick level. All right, and if for some reason you are one hundred percenting Super Sunshine at home with me. Um, there's actually two blue coins right here. One you have to rocket nozzle to and one in there. Make sure you get this one up here first. Because... When you go to get this blue coin, it punches you all the way back down to the bottom. So, uh, yeah, don't be silly goose. I kind of forgot you could get it, or like, I'm just so used to doing it, um, that way, but I, I legitimately forgot, oh no, I didn't forget, it spawns on the top of the fucking shell, I don't know why I'm pretending like I forgot, but it had been, I guess it's been so long since I've done it this way that that's, that's why, yeah, but that's cool though, this may sound really dumb, because all of the coins are in like random ass spots like this, but for some reason, I'm being genuinely honest, every single time I replay this game, I have to look up the blue coins for every single level because I always forget one or two and it's always like a random different one or two than the one I forgot the last time I played or whatever. But for some reason with this one, even though it's like clearly like the most awkward and most annoying blue coins i remember every single one for some reason i don't know if it's because maybe they're just like such unique positions that like it's hard to uh forget or because i you know i don't know it's it's it's, it's weird it's actually weird i uh, i never have to look up no key bay blue coins though i usually have to look up one or two other ones from uh, any other given uh, world but one of the secret shines in this is a gold bird up top, so let's grab that and then um, alright, let's do this shit. Shit, I meant to keep my hover. That should work though, yeah. Oof. Did I miss one? Or no, the last one's up top, right? Like the next platform over here. You can ledge grab those? What the fuck? I've never seen that before in my life either. What the fuck? That's crazy. 
So much random shit's happening today. It's so weird. Alright. Well, my original plan was to actually finish this game up tonight. But I think we're gonna have to have one more session because I also want to do some editing tonight. But uh, I'm definitely gonna beat it next time because I only have Mr. Gelato left. I mean, uh, Mr. Serena. And then cleaning up so that some of the Delfino stuff. And uh, then I'm out of here. There we go. I got it. I was going to say, that was definitely it, and I did not want to fuck that up. Then you can just walk right through the water. And use Yoshi to spray the goopy goop. And now that we did that annoying ass glitch to get through, to not have to do the annoying ass waiting on the boats, you also have the most annoying ass level, if not one of the hardest levels in the game, arguably. Probably the, like, the, the most notoriously hard level. Because you really only have one shot at the red coins. And, uh, yeah. And steering this thing can be pretty not fun. So you may be wondering why are you not, like... And that's what happens if you step in the water. Thankfully, I got a good amount of lives, though. That, that was a weird interaction. I mean, obviously, as a trained professional who plays this game once a year, like, I'll just second try it. Don't please tell me I didn't just fucking dolphin dive off the goddamn map. Okay. <laughs> obviously, I'll second try it, because, you know, I'm a trained professional who plays this game once a year, but, like, that is kind of one of the most annoying, if not hardest, levels in the game, other than Pachico, maybe. Which I've already done, so... Alright, but anyways, that being said, this is probably my favorite secret in the game. It's also the last one. We are going to have to redo the other one for the red coins and this one as well, but this is the last floodless uh, level. You can get squished down there, but obviously I went for a secret wall jump jutsu. We have one big, last big Rubik's Cube for the road. And yeah, there we go. So we're on to 84 fucking shines, dude. Alright, so that is the last Shadow Mario in this game, 
And as you can see, something funky is about to happen. So once you actually beat all Shadow Marios in the game, so level 7 of every stage, then the whole entire village gets flooded, actually. And that is when you are technically allowed to be able to fight, boss, ba, 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 fight Bowser and, and beat the game. So you have to do level 7 of every level. And then you can... Uh, So that is the last blue coin, and then you can literally just click exit area. And, um... And everything returns to normal. Then I can catch a boat back over to the airstrip, actually, because there is one more shine over there. And a single blue coin. And it is honestly a very easy way to get the 100 coin star, um, and that, that counts as the Delfino Plaza coin star, but I already got that one in one of the early episodes, so I'm just gonna get what I need to get. Um, so yeah. So this is honestly pretty, pretty fucking fun, pretty cool uh, level. Come back to the airstrip, you get the turbo nozzle, and you fucking run into the first wall immediately. Well, that's not how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like this. And then you go around the path of coins, and as you can see, why well, it would be pretty easy to get the 100 coin, you know? Quite a few coins around here. But yeah. Oh! But you literally could just follow the path of coins and, uh, pretty much get the 100 coin star and also it tells you where all the reds are so I missed that one the last two reds are going to be down the middle alright and then before I grab that shine because I'm not stupid well, I am, but not for that reason. Um, you do come back into this area, spray this ice cube, and get the singular blue coin that's over here. I just started spraying random shit until eventually they gave me a coin. Jesus Christ, dude. I was about to fucking shoot myself. Imagine I had one HP. Alright. Well, that's it, gamers. Watch this. Ten blue coins for shine sprites. That's why I always wait to turn it in. It's so satisfying. I don't know why. So red and ominous. Oh, look at this. Look at this fucking high quality. <laughs> Dude, the quality on this is actually wild.
but unfortunately one of the easiest like bosses in history to be honest I'm doing this very sloppy and it's still gonna be super easy watch Oh no, that's cringe, the fucking wall kick. Ah, that's so lame over here. I'm over talking about how easy it is and I just fucking do that. Dude, the, the wall kick is lame as fuck. That didn't count. You're not supposed to fall mad every time. Or that. <laughs> I thought I had to sneeze, sorry. Dude, look at the polygons on these motherfuckers. Such a weird interaction to have them talk, but... Dude, the remix is like so fire. I, 
I don't know if I can save and exit. I mean, like, if I if I exit the game, if it will save or not. I'm pretty sure it does. But I'm just gonna be safe. I'll let you guys watch the the shit with me. Oh, I double check something actually. You know what's funny is uh, I didn't even like think about it, but I just recorded for two and a half hours, and I didn't like mention anything about getting a haircut or like trimming my beard. When they bring like the echoing crowd into it. so good such a beautiful game man one of my favorite games of all time that's why i've played it 10 plus years straight now and yeah I... see if i i'm pretty sure if you exit it doesn't save I'm pretty sure. So I'm glad I I'm glad I waited just in case. So that way I could Boom One twenty baby. And just for a little bit of fun. Let's come over to homie. We get the fire tropical shirt. The sunshine shirt with the glasses. 120 shrines. This game's done. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed because I had a blast playing it. I always have a blast playing this game. It is literally one of my favorite games of all time. And I'm glad I came around to finishing it. But for now, I will see you again when I see you. Thanks for watching. Peace out.